Hello and welcome back to the second half of our tutorial on sharpening an LAB. Before we begin, just to let you know, if you just wanted to create the edge mask that we made in the first section and you have some other normal sharpening routine that you do, just to, just to remind you, please remember to go back to image, mode, and RGB color so that you don't forget about that. So let's go ahead and get started with the second half of our tutorial. When we ended last time, we had just gone back into our full color image. So from here, let's go ahead and click on the lightness channel to select it again. And what we need to do is take that edge mask that we created and turn it into a selection. In order to do that, we need to go down to the thumbnail of our edge mask that we created earlier, as you see right here. And we need to command click on the Mac or control click on the PC and as you can see it now gives us our selection. From here it's just a simple matter of going to our filter command, going down to sharpen, and depending on the kind of sharpening that you like to do, I personally prefer smart sharpen but a lot of people still use unsharp mask. From here you just use the sharpen settings that you want. In this image I'm going to take my radius up to 2 and I'm going to move my amount up to about 110. And as you can see on the eyes, this is before and this is after. Up in the hair, this is before, this is after. And down in the shirt here, this is before and that's after. So you can see what a big difference this makes. And we'll go ahead and hit OK. And that's all we have to do. Now let's hit Command D on Mac or Control D on PC to deselect. What we've managed to do by sharpening only the lightness channel is we've sharpened only the prominent areas that we wanted and left everything else alone. And by avoiding the A and the B channels, which hold all of the color information, We've managed to avoid sharpening anything that could introduce more noise into our image. So now that we're finished, go back to your full color image. We're going to once again go back to the image command at the top, mode, and return to RGB color. Do not flatten this image. And if we return to the layers palette by turning the top layer off and on, we can see a before and after. That's a very big difference. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.